What's up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Shape Shift OS on this device. And in the about section, this is how it looks. We have this like kind of logo over here, SH4 it says, and you can read out over there whatever is written. And there is the processor name and the other specs over there. And we have the device name over here, the Android version, the build number, then the model, and that's it. Now, if I go into the Android version, it shows the Shape Shift logo up top. And of course, the Android version is 11 over here, as you can see. Let me go back. The Shape Shift version over here says 2.4 rail, and you can see the number kind of stuff over there. And the Shape Shift OS code name is Treco. And you can see the security patch is latest of March 5th, 2021. And the stock kernel here is a Shape Shift specific kernel. And the SLinux status is enforcing. Here is the build number and about the build date, this is the 17th March 2021 build. So latest build as of right now. And this ROM does include the GApps in the ROM file itself. Let me show you from where I downloaded it. Of course, I downloaded it from the Violet official updates channel. And I'll put the link for that in the description box below. You should not worry. And here you can see again, this is the 17th March 2021 build. The file size is about 1.3 GB. You can go to the support group and stuff from the description box below too, so don't worry. And if you want to flash this ROM on your Redmi Note 7 Pro, you can click on the card right there and you can flash it while you are decrypted. Now, I have been daily driving on this ROM for about two days now. So pretty much this was my primary daily driver for these two days. And here we get a safe shift launcher over here. Let me show you. If you go into the like about kind of stuff over here of this launcher, as you can see, this is the shape shift launcher present by default here. And by the way, the recent panel looks like this. You can take a screenshot, you can share the screen or you can clear a particular app from here with this button. And with this button, you can clear all the apps in the recents or the memory and here launcher settings. We have the icon pack changing option, then the notification dots. Allow edit option is there and there is the home screen rotation and stuff. Show Google app on the left side is there and the, you can disable the suggestions, so that's a good thing. Also there is a swipe down gesture, double tap gesture, the double tap to sleep anywhere is there and the show icon labels on desktop and drawer is there. So that's pretty much it but one thing that I miss on this launcher not gonna lie is the app lock. So there is no app lock in the ROM. So that is one thing that I have been missing, but in terms of the stock launcher, this is great. The widgets are working fine. Swiping down, as you can see, gets you to the notification panel and swiping to the left, we get the Google's discover page. Swiping up gets you to the app drawer. You can even search for any particular app from here, as you are noticing. And the launcher, in my opinion, is very, very smooth and the experience has been really great so far. No issues whatsoever. Now, let me show you the stock camera over here. This is the Google camera go that is present over here. Yes, not a really great like camera, but this takes pretty much basic good pictures. No issues that I have had with the Google camera go and even the front camera and stuff is working flawlessly, even with the like face retouching kind of stuff. In my personal opinion, this stock camera is really great over here that we get this like Google camera go edition. If it had the ANX camera by default, that would have been better. But yeah, I'm not like too disappointed or something with the Google camera go. Anyway, you can install ANX camera if you want to on this ROM by following that video from the card right there. Also, I have installed the PX version of the Google camera and this is working fine even with night set and stuff. This worked fine. Yes, it feels a little bit sluggish sometimes, but yeah, the pictures are very good. Let me show you this picture I took. You can check out the details and stuff over here. As you can see, very cool like kind of pictures that you can take and the picture looks really awesome. So yeah the pictures coming out with the google cameras over here on this rom is great no issues whatsoever talking about some stock stuff that like i could not simply get the google assistant over here by just swiping like this right now as you can see it, it brings the google assistant so that's the reason why i had to download this google assistant app from play store and after downloading the app and setting it up right now as you can see i can swipe up from these corners and it gets me to the google assistant even let me show you hey google as you can see, it brings the Google Assistant with the keyword too. So right now, Google Assistant is working flawlessly, no issues so far. Let me talk about some more things on this ROM, like some basic stuff like the IR Blaster and stuff. Here, IR Blaster is working flawlessly with any kind of app like this LED RGB remote app and stuff. As you are noticing, IR Blaster is working flawlessly. Now, talking about safety net test, yes, it passes the safety net test right out of the box. So you can banking apps like Google Pay or something if you want to. But one problem that I have had is the SBI card app. I cannot simply set it up. As you can see, it shows this. I do not have Magisk installed, by the way, over here. This is just the stock ROM. And here, SBI card app is not working right out of the box. 
But again, don't get me wrong, Google Pay works super fine here, no issues whatsoever. Talking about DRM info, as you can see, the DRM info shows as L1, so if you have not broken your DRM certification, it should be totally fine, no issues with the like streaming of Netflix and Amazon Prime in 1080p here. Now, let me show you the quick settings panel. This is how it looks like. And by the way, this accent color is there by default, I guess. And if, in, if I put the phone into dark theme, as you can see, it inverts the colors. So the accent color right now is white. As you can see, the accent color is right now black. So that's how it is by default, I guess. I did not change it. And this is how it looks. And you can edit and add multiple toggles from here. As you are noticing, plethora of quick toggles that you can add. Now, let me show you the ones which I have added over here. As you can see, there is the Android 11 screen recorder. So with that, you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time. And other than that, I have added the heads up. As you can see, you can disable or enable heads up from here. There is also the FPS toggle over here. So if you tap on it, right now you can see the UI FPS on the top left of the screen right there. So yeah, you can see the FPS while gaming and stuff, of course. And there is also the gaming mode, but one toggle that I am missing is the reboot toggle. So yeah, the reboot toggle is not there. That might be a disappointment for you because if your power button is broken, you really want a reboot toggle in your, in your quick settings panel, but that's just not present over here. In the settings panel, this is how it looks like. And sometimes you see this setting service keep stopping. That's not a problem. You can just close it normally. It doesn't affect the UI. And here in the settings, we have the system panel and there we do not have any system updater. Let me tell you that. And in the gestures, we have all these gesture settings and you can go to any of it like system navigation gestures over here and have been using the full screen gestures of course the good thing is you can adjust the gesture bar length as well as the gesture bar radius that's the like thickness over here so as you can see the gesture bar right now is quite long because i have customized it and you can also change the left edge right edge kind of gesture over here and we have the dead zone you can customize that let me go back we also have the old school two button and three button navigation and we have the quickly open camera that's the double tapping power button to open the camera and swipe right screenshot is there but let me tell you this swipe right screenshot does not have the long screenshot or scrolling screenshot feature you can of course share it edit it or delete it whenever you are taking a screenshot and inside brightness control we have this adjust brightness by sliding a finger across the status bar so yeah this feature is there as you are noticing right now if i slide a finger on the status bar you can increase or decrease the brightness by just doing this. So very helpful gestures and in the double tap to sleep, we of course have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and double tap to sleep on the lock screen. And while I'm at it, let me show you double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen also is there. And let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed. As you are noticing, the fingerprint scanner speed is fairly fast, no issues whatsoever. Let me show you up close. As you can see again, the fingerprint scanner speed is very, very fast no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner over here very reliable fingerprint scanner and as the rom comes with pre-included g apps the google keyboard is present by default here and also we get the violet parts and here we have the display kcl that's the like color calibration of the whole display you can customize it however you want and we have the linux mode kind of stuff and the fps info overlay is there there is also the clear speaker option if you want to like clear your speakers the loudspeakers you can do that also there is a mi audio Direct, and you can choose the youth edition and other presets the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is amazing and we have these many like audio presets over here for the mi audio direct and again sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is great no issues also inside security we of course have the pixel imprint and the face unlock as well but again there is no app lock over here so let me quickly show you the face unlock speed as you can see i just double tapped over here and i have already like set up the face unlock so if i double tap right now as you can see it unlocks yes it's not the fastest right now because i think i have some obstacles like this strap and stuff of the camera but otherwise I, as you can see it is unlocking fine it takes a little bit time but yeah with the face unlock it unlocks fine no issues right now let me jump into the customization that is inside this shape shifter and over here we have the power button customization and there is also the enable restart option as you can see and this is how the power menu looks like of course and we have the google smart home stuff and if i go into advanced there is the rebooting normally option then reboot to fast boot or the bootloader then reboot to recovery and there is a reboot to system ui option so all these advanced reboot options that you get and inside navigation we have the navigation gesture options over here again and enable nav bar and stuff is there enable haptic feedback is there invert layout option is there if you're using two or three button navigation then inside gestures we have all these gestures again that was present in the system and in the volume panel we have this reorient swap volume buttons option and the volume steps and also there is the volume panel changing style by default this is how the volume panel looks like 
and you can also change it something to like the AOSP extender and stuff and then it will look like this you can expand it right now as you are noticing like this and also there are much more like compact audio tiled etc options and inside the interface we have the quick settings option then we have the battery estimates media player etc and vibrate on toggle touch tint quick setting is there you can also do it to the default accent color and the oxygen OS style then we have the column and row number changing option let me go back we have the themer and this is how it looks like and we have this RGB accent picker but I haven't changed it over here but you can of course here we have the reset RGB accent then adaptive icon shape we can change these many shapes and also there is the system UI icons you can change it to these many options and there is also the headline and body fonts these are the fonts that you get and inside heads up we have the normally heads up disabling option then the less boring heads up don't touch heads up I don't know all these heads ups but yeah those options are there if you want to use them inside pulse we have the nav bar pulse lock screen pulse turn on smoothing and stuff etc is there and inside the status bar we have the battery option and from here you can see the battery style you can change it to only portrait circle not much and we have the show percentage option and if you want to see the percentage inside the battery you can enable this one and we have the battery bar option too so if you are someone who likes that you can enable it and in the clock settings you can have the am pm style the date style and stuff let me go back we have the network indicator and from here of course you can enable the network indicator stuff but i have been using a separate app for this inside status bar we have these many icons and headset bluetooth etc icons are there so you can enable any icon over here and there is the volte icon changing option so if you don't like the default volte icon you can change it and there is a show data disabled icon and stuff then we go to the lock screen settings and from here we have the native controls as you can see there is a notification on lock screen skip lock screen option and if you scroll down there is the always on when charging wake screen for notification and stuff but let me tell you there is no option to force fingerprint unlock over here so no always unlock with the fingerprint scanner over here as you can see in the lock screen tuner we only have this left right shortcut in the general option we have the status bar disabling option inside the lock screen lock icon you can disable it too lock screen charging animation is there fingerprint icon on lock screen i don't know why that is there and we have the media cover art and stuff you can enable those that's it in the system or miscellaneous settings we have the general notification option like horizon light and stuff i don't know if that works or not and in the misc settings we have the usb configuration you can change it to file transfer if you like that pocket detection is there charging animation you can enable from here and wake up on charge you can disable from here and we have the led like light settings over here and let me scroll down we have the gaming mode over here and enable the gaming mode from here and you can set the ringer stuff like vibrate do not disturb etc so yeah a lot of options are there so that was it about the customization let me go back let me jump into the battery settings this is how it looks like pretty simple look over here it does not show you much information it only shows you the screen on time then the last full charge adaptive battery option is there and we have the battery saver mode and in the battery saver we have some options we can go into the full battery usage from by just tapping over here and i would say the battery settings is not much it doesn't show you the battery temps the battery charging cycle etc so not much information that you get but the battery life is good enough as you can see you can get five to six hours or six to seven hours of screen on time depending on your usage i would say and the 18 watt fast charging is also working fine no issues with that let me jump into the display settings this is how it looks like we have the brightness level the dark theme the night light adaptive or auto brightness live display option is also there so you can calibrate the screen and we have the styles and wallpapers and over here this is how it looks we have these live wallpaper over here as you can see the wallpaper i have been using over here is from the wallp app i'll link that below and in the grid settings we have up to six by six grid so a lot of grid options and the clock settings we have all these clock options and i have been using it with the s funny one there is also the id option and stuff and we have all these cutout options but yes this does not look as good as the pixel experience roms cutout but yeah there are a lot of options over there and we have the display size the small width and the lock screen settings is there also and we have the double tap to wake and enable blurs option that's it in the display settings now in the sound settings we have simply the media call etc volume customization and we have the ringtone changing option and the in-call vibration options are present over here and as you can see i have enabled the vibe button connect you can also enable the call waiting and disconnect vibration if you want to there is a screenshot sound disabling option so that's a good thing touch vibration charging vibration touch sound etc you can disable talking about the stock dialer it simply has the pixel dialer so there is no call recording option over here but yes volte calls and vo wi-fi both are working fine here and if you want to know the performance of this rom i would say it performs great it does not perform 
band at all but yeah this is a redmi note 7 pro and i switched from the k20 pro so i can feel a little bit like sluggishness here and there but that's normal for the redmi note 7 pro and here the n 2 gig band score on this particular build of the shapeshift os on the redmi note 7 pro so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet share this video with your friends if you feel like and you can click on the upload button over there if you want to support my work and you can also use the affiliate links to buy stuff from amazon or flipkart that will help my channel and again this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now